where is Las Vegas at right now with an NBA franchise and how, if at all, does that impact their planning, their thought process, uh, public money that might need to go towards another new arena? Where right. does all that stand? So let's 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 kind of drill into this one. You know, uh, NBA and basketball, I think, is more organically um, consistent with the Las Vegas market. Right. You know, dating back, obviously, to the running Rebels and Tarkini and the national championship. And you and you still have old fans that do show up at the UNLV basketball games. They're not very good. But, uh, you know, there's a there's a major project that's proposed, uh, I'd say, probably about a mile and a half south of Mandalay Bay on Las Vegas Boulevard at Las Vegas Boulevard and Blue Diamond. The folks who... Uh, have rebuilt the key arena into the Seattle Kraken Hockey Arena in Seattle. Those folks are proposing to build a $3 billion casino arena and amphitheater project there. And their goal is to build an NBA ready arena uh, with the goal of having an NBA tenant there. Uh, you're talking about some, you know, you're talking about Lewicki group. You're talking about he's legit. He, you know, he, he was with AEG. I mean, he, he was uh, he wasn't with AEG when they uh, partnered with Met, with um, MGM Resorts to build T-Mobile Arena, but he knows what he's he has to he has to track record in the resume to build an arena at that site. He's hired Mark Bedane, who is the former Raiders team president, right. who shepherded the Raiders Stadium process. So that's a legit NBA arena proposal. Uh, I have not heard anything about public money that's been requested. Typically, in this kind of project, you would see the only public money you might see that might be requested would be for infrastructure, perhaps for uh, the site is also uh, it's on the e it's on the east side of the interstate. So maybe um, you might see the developer ask for infrastructure improvements for access from I fifteen to this proposed arena site i don't know i have not seen it um, i mean i'm i shouldn't even be speculating what, about what they want you know to ask sure. potentially but right mm -hmm. now there is no public money as part of that nba um project i will tell you that you know digging deep, digger into the weeds of this i think that is a viable nba arena project um the owner of the Vegas Golden Knights, Bill Foley, who owns a 15% share of T-Mobile Arena, probably would not want to share. Up, he would be. I mean, if he had to, he could do it. But the arena can can handle basketball very easily, and they just, you know, uh, you know, we covered the, uh, you know, just the West Regionals, right. you know, just there only, uh, you know, a month ago. Um, but I think Bill Foley would not mind having uh, another arena to handle the NBA team. Uh, because I'm sure he'd like to have his building for the Vegas Golden Knights. So to answer your question, you know, NBA is on the table. People are very excited. I mean, honestly, I think people are more excited about NBA more than MLB. That's just my own reading, you know, kind of observations. Um, we have the NBA Summer League. NBA has a, a strong presence here. Right. The Summer League is very strong for two weeks in July. They take over Thomas and Mack Center on the on the uh, UNLV campus. And um you know, Las Vegas and NBA uh, has been on the table for a long time. I know Adam Silver is quite aware of Las Vegas's interest in having uh, an expansion team here. So um, that's uh, you know that's that's out there as well as long as, uh, with Major League Soccer. Well, that's you another. Know, that's a whole other one. I forgot. Right, about I'm not that sure one. about. Um, I mean, I'm not so sure about that. I think San Diego. I think is a better. Uh, right now, um, possibility yeah. than Las Vegas, but um, Las Vegas has are, has been strongly mentioned. The problem with Major League Soccer, like anything else, what drives the train, as you know, is the sports venues. And um, you know whether you can have Major League Soccer wants its own venue. They usually want something in the twenty five, the thirty k range. And it's also in the middle. You know, their season goes right through the summer. It's going to be pretty hot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. Um, it's, 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 you can see, we, we have a lot of moving parts in here in Las Vegas. 